Hello. Um, recently, I've been receiving quite a few uh, questions on my American accent, so I just uh, decided to uh, make a video on it. There's a video that I, I made three years ago where explaining how I learned American English, but uh, I would like to uh, explain it further in uh, more details. Um, <clears throat> Uh, I saw a couple of threads uh, on the internet where people uh, said, suggest that I have an American mother or that I lived in the United States uh, when I was a little kid. I am um, obviously flattered uh, by these suggestions because maybe it means that um, I speak American English decently. Uh, but um, the point is that it prompted me to uh, tell, uh, tell you uh, my personal story. Um, now I am. Uh, I was born and raised in Rome, in a 100% monolingual uh, family. So my mother and my father they speak Italian. My father also speaks, um, also knows English, but it's scientific English. Uh, more he writes very well in English, but it's uh, as far as speaking is concerned, that's not the best. Uh, that's not that's not the best of his skill, of his skills. Um, now, um, as every other um, ten-year-old. Italian kid. I started English. Started to learn English at school, and um, the Italian school system is not as bad as they depicted. But um, the problem is, is it's it's quite uh, inefficient as far as language learning is concerned. Plus, my teacher was from Sardinia, and she had a very thick Sardinian accent when she spoke English. So uh, at the beginning, I picked up what I picked up was kind of a mix between Sardinian and English, and I don't know. It was something weird, and I do remember that um, at the end of the first year, a couple of years uh, later, I uh, still pronounced uh, enough like inaug. That's what I, my American, uh, my uh, American teacher was shocked. And um, talking about my American teacher, my mother decided that it was about time to have to uh, for me to learn English properly. So we had a private tutor. She is. Uh, um, great. She is a great girl from Chicago. I'll say it. Um, haven't seen her in a long time, actually, because she came back to uh, the United States. Uh, but I still treasure her lessons. They were so good, and they were incredibly motivating. And I think that um, she did what a teacher should do. That is to guide the the learner. And not to lecture him whenever he makes a mistake. To encourage him and uh, to give him material. And that's what she did. She gave me so much motivation, and I do remember that she recorded, uh, for example, she recorded movies, and for me in English, and I avidly uh, watched them all the time. And it was um, she did a wonderful job, and I, I wrote, for example, essays for her. I wrote articles that she corrected all the time. And um, but what I did, um, she she gave me, uh, you know, motivation. But um, languages cannot be taught. They can only be learned. And what I did is, I saw her once a week, but uh, for the rest of the week, I was constantly working by myself. I do remember that when I was 13, and that's the moment where I met um, I met her. She, uh, I uh, found myself. I went to a book uh, bookstore, and uh, I wanted to buy. I, my attention just fell on uh, a big a big book, which is uh, Stephen King's It. You know it's an enormous book, and I just said, uh, I just pointed it, and I said, I want that one. And um, the uh, the owner said to my mother, it's not good for him because uh, it's too big, it's too difficult. And uh, I think in life, you, yeah, it's important not to let anybody tell you what you have to do. If you want to do something, you go for it. You go for it, and then uh, you'll see whether you can do it or not. And that, what I did is that I insisted, and I did well to insist because I. The, the the book was incredibly good and incredibly interesting. Some people might not like Stephen King, a bit commercial, but I found the, the book incredible. And um, I highlight a lot of words that I didn't know, obviously. It was, a little, it was not, um, you know, a smooth reading because I kept um, coming across words that I didn't know or expressions, etc. But it was um, a breakthrough as far as my English is concerned. Uh, and... Um, I also wanted to tell you that, um, you know, when people ask me, for example, why did you learn um, American English? It's not a, it's not that I chose American English. It's American English that chose me because uh, my American tutor, my tutor was American. 
because the movies I watched were all in American English because the the books were in, in American English, so the expressions of and the culture, and because my friends uh, were Americans. I have two dear friends, um, uh, Rachel and Garrett. Hi, if you're watching the video, and I I do remember that you know I've never I've never been to America before. Never. I've never been here outside of European borders. So I don't even have a passport. It's a shame. But I do remember that America was all around me. It was around me all the time. And I think that in order to speak a language fluently, you don't necessarily need to go to the country. Now, you might tell yourself, well, if I live in a small village in Australia or in Alaska, yeah, it's true. It's true that it's not the same thing as being in a big uh, big city as, uh, such as uh, like Rome. But the thing is that with the internet, you can actually surround yourself with language. You can talk to people. Uh, you can watch movies, etc. So I think that um, attitude is what counts the most. And um, another thing, which is the final point of this video, um, is that um, I didn't deliberately learn uh, how to uh, speak like an American or have acquired this American accent. I I just enjoyed what I wanted to, what I was doing. I enjoyed it greatly and I kept doing that without uh, asking myself do I speak like uh, perfectly or not because the point and um, the objective uh, languages are tools for communication uh, when you use a language you always use words and uh, in order to convey a message that's the, that's the most important thing when people uh, think and talk about perfection, you, your, your accent is perfect, I would like to have such a perfect accent. It's not true that my accent is perfect. I know that uh, a, a native English speaker can tell, if they talk to me for a long time, but in channel they can tell that I'm not a foreigner, but it doesn't matter. Uh, the thing is that um, the most important thing is the clarity of your speech, the, how well you convey a message, and how clearly you pronounce words. If you pronounce words clearly and you speak well, it doesn't matter if you have an accent, it really doesn't. And so, just uh, the message here is just enjoy what you are doing. If you choose a language, if you like, um, if you have a connection with that language, if you like what you're doing, you are going to be successful no matter what happens. Thank you very much.